Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kayleigh Allen and welcome to this week's video. This week's video is another update video and I've got a few things for you. And you know what? None of them are variegated. None of them. I know, very unusual. But I've been feeding some stuff and it's looking really tasty. Okay, so I want to show you. It's not everything. I'll be doing quite a few more of these because to be honest, in the shop, I've got a lot of stuff that's just popping now. Some stuff I've saved back from the brink. Again, not in this video, but I'm saving a lot of things from a bit of winter neglect, a bit of sort of yellowing, browning, crispiness, shriveled growth, stuff like that. So over the coming weeks, you will see some sexy stuff. But until then, let's start with today's update. And you know what? I'm going to start with something I wouldn't usually start with, but I'm so proud of it. I have to show you it. Now, it represents one of them because you may notice in the back here, there's a teeny weeny gap in this tree. Just just here, just a little gap because, because of this guy. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. He's so good. So his old leaves are this one here and sorry, it's really all over the place. This one here. So I fed it. I fed it and look what it's done. Look what it's done. I can just put all the leaves in front of me. It's actually a beast and it's not just this one. It's everything in the tray. So this is what I know to be Philodendron Pastazanum Silver. Look how big it is in the screen. Look at that. It's beautiful. So this is Pastasanum Silver as denoted by this wonderful silveriness. I don't know if it's simply like a variant of Pastasanum or it is hybridized or something to make it like this because honestly it is still leggy like Pastasanum if you can see this but it's not... How do I put this? It's not quite as leggy. You can keep it a little bit more dense, I think, than what you'd expect. So I don't know. There is this. I have another one in there that is more silvery. I'll not pick them all out because I've done this before, although I could make a cool video just sort of comparing the three. I have another. It's a crawler, so it's not the same thing. I have philodendron SP platinum. And I have another pastazanum in there that is pastazanum white that is like this, but even more silver. But I want to pick this one out today. Now, it, it's grown stupid because obviously it's been sat in that tree. So when it's grown a leaf it's just tried to find its way to look good so when I put it back in it's probably gonna look really weird and misshapen but as you can see there they're all sort of growing towards I think that skylight up there that you can't see there is obviously lights on the shelves but it's obviously looking for the extra come full summer it probably will stop doing that because there'd be so much light in here anyway but I want to show you this and you know what I'm really thinking I'm undecided but I'm kind of thinking of putting this in my house as in this exact plant. It's grown beautifully. You can see some wonderful roots in the bottom there. And it's not, it's very dense. It is growing quite dense. The internal spacing's kept really, really tight on this, which I quite like. I might do it. It's tossed between this and I've got a really big, beautiful Plowmanii still on the bottom of the living wall. So it's a toss between this and that. The Plowmanii on the bottom of the living wall arguably might be a little bit better because I think it grows a bit more stout and it might piss me off less. But I absolutely love this. Let me know what you think I should do with it. The other stuff on the shelf if you're curious it's gonna have to get propagated and i'm really sad because you know what it looks fantastic in a tray but it's not really doing much good that big you know what i mean like i can't ship this unfortunately this is too big for me to ship or anything like that so it's beyond that so this either gets cut or kept i'm gonna keep it for a little bit longer and decide what i want to do but until such time can we just take a second like look at it look at that oh my god it looks so good oh my god so good but he's a very big boy speaking of big boys Boys. Now, this is just ridiculous. So you'll see what he is when I bring him over into the screen because he's so big. So a while ago, I think I've, I've got more than one of these. I've got one that's hijacked its way into another plant, but this one's on its own. So I thought I'd show you. I think this is, I don't think it's Colocasia Black Magic. I know a lot of people are probably going to say that it is, but I don't think it is, guys, because I've got more than one of them. And I know I only had one Black Magic and I think it died. I'm not certain, so it could be, but I wanted to show you this because it's it's grown a lot, right? Now, it hasn't had a lot of love. It hasn't had a lot of feed. It's been put in a very low priority area of the shop where I don't necessarily feed stuff unless I'm bringing it forth to sell and stuff like that. Otherwise, it would just it would just be insane. So I want to show you this. <laughs> and I'll probably have to stand back with it because seriously, if I just stand here, can you see the sheer... Like, this is my head here, head height. The roots go down to way past my hip. And this is how tall it is. Now... It's awesome because obviously look at these leaves. They are black, black. For reference, I'm wearing black and that's how black they are. They should come off nice and muted and black on camera. But the thing you get with Colocasia, and it can look better than this, don't get me wrong, this is a little bit on the leggy side, but you do get the problem of extra long petty holes and not a great amount of sort of leaf on the top. Obviously, this is a lot better because I have actually fed it. So there's there's your difference, I suppose. This has been neglected, but it's grown near a light, so it's gone dark. This is made very recently 
deliberately feeding it because it was in a tray with stuff that got fed. I'll be honest and say that I didn't deliberately feed it. It got fed by proxy. But it's now obviously pushing out much better growth than what it was. So it can get better than this. This is a terrible um, example, would you say? A terrible specimen to show you. But it's just something I kind of want to remind people about. If you want something really easy that literally grows like on complete neglect, you can grow these in water. They don't care. Obviously feed you water, but they're, they're pretty tough to be honest. By the fact it's even alive, look, it tells you how tough it is. I'll hold it like that because it's probably more interesting. But I just want to show you because I found him and I thought he was cute and it was cute that he's gone like mega, mega black. So again, that's a new leaf there that's just coming in. I don't think they emerge a dark color. I think the leaves literally like color up after they've hardened off. I don't think you get them when they emerge. Correct me if I'm wrong because I've, I've not honestly looked at my collocation enough to know that. I don't, I genuinely don't see them. There'll be this one in the shop and there'll be that other one that got stuck in that philodendron hybrid I probably showed a few weeks ago. So that's kind of it. So I'm not paying attention to them at all. So what you see here is just, it's just grown, it's just survived neglect. But the feed's done it all right, to be honest. It's definitely made a difference in one go. Look at that. Awesome. But yeah, here he is. I don't know what he is. I'm not against saying it's black magic. I'm just not thinking it is because I have more than one of them. And unless it sort of propagated itself behind my back, didn't die, spread itself throughout the shop, I think it's a really random seed hybrid I had from ages ago. I'll have to find out. I don't know. Oh God, he's got so long roots. The roots are borderline freaky on that. Right, the next plant I want to show you, I just sort of picked it up before filming because I thought, you know what, I'll update people a little bit because what I have here, I will hold him up, is one of the TC Spiritus that I have and still have in stock if you're, if you're interested. By the way, my shop is actually open now for the year, so if you're interested, have a look on there. There's some new stuff. But I wanted to just show you basically what this is looking like. It's not a fully grown one. These are the ones that I've got that are a little bit further ahead. There's another one over there. It's about the same size, to be honest. So this is the one that's sort of, it's starting to size up compared to the others. So I've kind of held it back to grow it and see, you know, what it turns out like. Because a lot of people say, oh, you know, TC is different, blah, 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 blah. And fine if you think that, that's fine. But I just thought I'd show you how mine are growing. So that's what that is. There's not a lot to say about it, guys, other than that. Just that's the size it's growing at the minute. It's actually really wobbly. And I've had to re sort of replant it this morning because he was there so long in the tree, he immediately grew other aerial roots and he immediately just dug into other people's moss. It's very rude. So I've isolated him. I put him in solitary and now he should grow a little bit better. And I've tucked his aerials down to see how they go. But honestly, I don't see any difference from a spiritus. As far as I'm concerned, it's a spiritus. Do you need to care? No, not at all. Is this a cell? No, it's not. Just thought I'd show you how it's doing. It's just doing all right. It's definitely quite dark. It could have grown a little bit nicer than what it has. Again, it's been over winter. I haven't fed every single tree, but, and this was arguably separated, so I, I do think it got missed, but it's starting to size up quite nice now. So that's him. He's really cute. Philodendron Spiritus Sancti. Obviously, obviously it goes without saying he's very young because where is it? This guy here on my merch right here. That's a mature a spiritus leaf there. I would pick up mine, but I, I really worry for him. He's leaning over. You can't see him. He's leaning over the side and he needs he needs to put on a really short, stubby pole, I think, before I pick him up again. So I'll probably do that in a repot. But anyway, that's him. Spiritus Sancti. Semi-grown up. Semi-grown up. Similarly, may as well show you, and this is slightly a bit of a different chat. This is one of my TC Delta Force that I tissue cultured from my mother plant. A few people still asking questions on that about the Delta Force on my website. So yes, they are tissue cultured, but they are tissue cultured from my mother plant. Okay. I sent them off to a lab to have tissue cultured. So yes, they are TC'd, but they're also from my plant. I think that's the problem. A few people have been saying, well, if it's tissue cultured, it's not her, it's, you know, it's not come from her plant. And it's like, no, it has. I said, it off. So if you have a problem with TC, that's fine. I'm just sort of repeating that because I have covered that in a video, but I, I'm not sure that every, I, you know what I mean? I'm not sure it's propagated for lack of a better term to everyone. So with that said though, I'd like to show you how the TC Spiritus Spiritus? Oh, Spiritus on the brain. How the TC Delta are coming along. I have more than one of these. I've got, I've got a couple actually. Show you this one and then I'll pick up another one just for argument's sake. These are obviously bigger than the ones I'm selling. These are arguably medium size now. None of these are for sale. I had a small one up. I had a couple of smalls, but I think they're sold. Can't remember as of recording this. They may be, they may not be. So if you're interested internationally, then have a look at my website and see what's there. I've got a whole bunch of shit, but that's how it is coming along. Okay. True to type, just as tough. 
I think they prefer being in moss when they're young, personally. I actually put a few of mine into Lekka and they didn't do so well, you know. I don't know why. Uh, maybe it's a winter thing, I don't know, because I've never had Delta Force not appreciate being Lekka. But these ones, I moved them back to moss and they just boomed. So I don't know if it's a winter thing because it's drier in here. Could be that um, because the heat is going more. Not sure. So I've converted a few of them back now to moss and they will probably start popping. So I have this one and I've got one that's flowering. Hang on, guys. I wasn't planning on picking it up, but I will. He's small, but he's flowering already. This is another Delta Force here as well. And he had a cute little flower coming in. So I do have a few of them as size, but I, I'm, I may sell them. I'll see. They might imminently go up for sale. So if you see them, oh, that's, that's where they're from. I'm not sure yet, guys. Because I was just going to keep it to the smalls, I think, and keep a propagation going as well. Because I'm more than happy to propagate from my own TC as well, obviously. Um, so we'll see what happens with that. But that's essentially what they're looking like. And they are looking really nice. They're responding really, really well to my feed, as is everything at the minute. You can proper tell in this shop that spring is coming. Or we're, we're kind of entering spring now, I would say. What are we like, end of March? Yeah. So I would say like April is spring, right? And the plants are, you know, they're getting tingly. You can tell they can feel it because they respond to my feed normally, but things are really starting to go into overdrive. And if you've bought my feed, I hope you experience this. Um, side note, I wasn't going to cover this, but thank you so much for the reviews on my feed, by the way. They are phenomenal. I also see the odd thing on Facebook that you guys are saying about my feed as well. I take on board some of the criticism you've put out about the... Oh, I may as well pick it up. You know these videos, guys. They're very ad hoc. The containers for the feed, I understand some of the criticisms I've received on that. I'll do a, more of a, a chat on that when we do a report. So if someone wants to remind me next time I do one, um, we will have more of a chat on that and I'll explain some stuff about that. Um, because I'm very open to changing this packaging, by the way. This was done to be cost effective. You could recycle it. It was just very applicable to launch a new product. But I'm more than happy to phase it into a different receptacle with a pipette or, or whatever. We'll, we'll talk about that anyway. But I just want to let you know that I've seen I've seen your comments about the feed and I'm I'm honestly quite touched so thank you and I'm so pleased you're enjoying it I'm so pleased you're getting results that is awesome that's exactly why I spent was the best part of two three years making it awesome very happy but anyway I'll put this guy back but if you if you didn't know what Delta Force looks like it's it's different it reminds me of a butterfly and I don't know why but this is the very unique markings you can get be very careful if you're buying Delta Force guys because some people will just hybridize what is this Carnivium and could be pterodactyl Car remember what it's supposed to be now or pedatoradiatum pedatoradiatum can't say that i can't remember what the hybrid is it's gone it's left me but um just be careful because some people will just simply sell you the hybrid saying it's delta force when it's not but i'm sure there are many resources out there on basically what the real deal is. But yeah, I wanted to clear that up and I wanted to re-mention the tissue culture thing. The Spiritus TC, by the way, has nothing to do with me. That's just bog standard Spiritus TC that everybody has. But the Delta Force TC has come specifically from my mother plant, which is down there flowering, looking a bit sorry for itself because it needs repotted, but it's got an active flower. So <laughs> it's, we're waiting basically. It has to wait. Right. Next thing I've fed, because I did say this is like a semi-feed update thing. I'm really happy with this. And you might be like, why'd you buy some in? And I just thought, you know, what I used to have about 20 mothers of this plant easy right and I don't know if I just sold them all off or I kept like two or three mothers I think I propagated a lot of them a lot of them died because I checked the root and I just went poof I have told you about this before um but I got a couple in and I mean we're literally talking like five and I did get them in before Christmas so I've had them a little while and I had them they came really bad these did not ship well I suspect it's because they shipped bare root and the roots have had a bit of a, a scrub rather than shipping them out like lecker grown for example but I have to show you what my feed's done and I'm so happy about it because to be fair the original leaves were dog shit look this is how they've come in and they suffered this was obviously after they got to me they suffered post transit a little bit so you've got this raggedy one but and this one here the main thing for me though is the ratio that's how I like to test my feed that's normally what I was looking for when I was testing it it was the ratio of things and the depth of color is mainly what I was looking for when I was making sure my feed was doing what I wanted it to do and internodal spacing that's like something different entirely but anyway so this is how it came in but I fed it and look look what's happened it sized up so well and let me tell you the roots on these are crap they are crap anyone that's imported chocos will probably know yes philodendron l choco red if I didn't say that um anyone that's imported them will know they can mm, it's not great but this is just settled so well and I fed it and look at it if you have not owned a philodendron choco red before now is your time I do 
not believe they're expensive. I really don't. I don't know what I paid for it, but I don't believe it was expensive. You need to get one because look, it's velvety. It's got contrast. Not only that, let's just have a little reminder, but they look like that on the back. Sorry, let me move out the crappy leaf because it's ruining the vibe. They look like that. How good is that? So if you haven't already, this is your sign to get a philodendron chocolate red. It's a climber, by the way. It can grow with really tight internodal spacing. So the space in between the nodes on the plant can be really, really tight. So it's definitely a climber that I'd probably recommend. Is it the easiest one in the world? That's a different conversation. And I'm probably going to do a video on easiest climbing philodendron, right? Because I did one on crawling. I think it's a good time to do it on climbing. And I probably put this in here. I'll see what else I come up with for the top five. I'll let you know and that will come out in the future. But yeah, I just wanted to show you how awesome that is. I just love these plants. I haven't stopped loving them. They can be a little bit of a nightmare to look after. It really depends, you know. It really depends. Some people will find this plant tough as nails and some people will kill it all the time. It's it's really, how do I put it? It's uh, polarizing. That's the word I wanted to use. It's polarizing. Oh, and you get, I'm just pulling it down. You get really pretty pink caterpillars on it as well, which is very pretty. I put him down. Wanted to show you the results on him because he's going great. My tray over here is full of 10 new hybrids, which are listed on the website as it happens, and some choco in there as well. I may as well put him back now, actually. And they've just done so well. Like, there's only one choco that has not done well, and that's because I think his roots are just done. But this guy here, if I pick him up, just to prove it's not just the one, this guy's done really well as well. He's growing a nice new leaf here. And if I I rotate him. He's well red. Look at that. Now that is an example of a good choco on the back. Can you see? It's so hard to show you this. There you go. Can you see that? Oof. That is sexy. Love it. So yeah, they've done really, really well, to be honest. And they are growing aerial roots, which we love. So I'll check on the value of those at some point and I will sign them some kind of priority in propagation for this year. So what else have I not showed you? Oh, this next plant I want to show you. I need a little bit of help with, guys. I think I've asked you before on what you think it is. And I don't, I think it was probably too young for anybody to tell, but it's grown up. So I want to show you it. It's definitely boomed a little bit. I think it's been fed. It, again, it's in a lower priority tray, this one, but I think it's been fed and you can sort of see a bit more coming through. So I'm going to put it in your face again, Anthurium lovers, and maybe you can tell me what it is. Because I don't literally have the one in the whole shop. I think it's come through as like a rogue plant. I've kept the old leaf on in the spirit of transparency, okay? Because I don't like to pretend things are nicer than they are. So there's the old leaf. Obviously, it's still good, don't get me wrong. A bit of winter crisp though, as you can probably tell. But this is the new one and there's, I don't know what that is that I've smudged on it and spilt on it. But again, I'll keep them the way they are. I don't know what it is, guys. This is this is it. Um, I did show you this a long time ago and I said it comes in like a petroly color. And it still does, but you can't see it as much now that it's maturing a little bit. You have to kind of turn it in the light to see it. And honestly, it's not really showing for me now. So it's probably definitely not going to show for you on camera. But this is him. He's sort of rubbery. He's actually very rubbery as a plant. He's got very minimal veining and he's very wide and almost round. Now, if you say it's probably a hybrid between such and such and such and such, I'd probably believe you. Of course, we will probably never know what it is. I'm more leaning towards it probably is a hybrid than a standalone anthurium. Don't say why it wouldn't be. Probably why it's random as hell, right? Because I think if it was a standalone on Ethereum, we'd probably guess it. But please do let me know what you think it is. Um, yeah, rubbery, don't see a shred of silver, can look a bit sort of petroleum-ish when the leaf comes in. Um, nothing really to know on the back at all. Very plain and green, very boring. So yeah, let me know what he is. There's one more look at him. The petioles are round as well. Petiole insertion is round. So there you go. That's him. Not a damn clue what he is. Am I going to keep growing him? Yes, of course I am. But I don't know what he is. So with that, I'm going to move on to this this guy. This guy is due to be repotted. And again, in the spirit of transparency, I kept on the old leaves. But this, I've just sold one of these actually, because I only have two in the whole shop and I just sold one of them. I call this guy 
Anthurium, I just call him SP chocolate or something because I don't know what he is. And this has hardened off and it's less chocolatey now. The older ones have gone a bit more green. But basically, new leaves come through really chocolatey. It's kind of like a crystalliner, but not. And if it was supposed to have crystallinum in it, again, I'd believe you. Look at the back of it. That just screams crystallinum to me. It's almost like a crystal mag cross, but it's really chocolatey. So I don't know what's making it chocolatey. And it's a shame I don't think it's throwing chocolate on camera at all. I'll show you the other the one that's come in because it's grown down that's grown upstairs okay so it's arguably getting too much light the one that i've grown down here that i've just sold i think a few days ago is this guy it is the same plant right it is actually the same plant i think clearly that one's just a bit pale but this is the one i sold the other day on the site that's how it should probably look probably just tells me it's too bright up there but hopefully you can see the chocolatiness Maybe, maybe, don't know. But he looks very nice, doesn't he? I might have to keep this one down here, actually. So he's down here to repot because obviously he's in a tiny ass pot, which I think is half the reason he's not looking his best, even though he's sized up. But I don't know. We need to keep him down here to get him this color because this is far nicer. So I'm selling him. He's sold. I'm going to probably have to prop this one because he's definitely propable. If you can see that there. He's definitely, definitely propable. I'm going to let me put this sold one back so I don't confuse it. So yeah, I don't know what he is, but I just want to show you he's had a good time. But in hindsight, actually comparing him with his, assuming his brother or his twin even, um, he's not had a brilliant time actually. So we need to get him looking a bit more chocolatey. I can see some chocolate in it. I don't know if you can or not. It's just nothing like that one. You know what I mean? So maybe we'll, we'll repot him into a nice juicy pot probably after this video and we will keep him down here and see if I can get him really, really dark. I'll feed him and I will update you on it and see if we can, we can bring him back. But considering he is in a pot that completely runs out of water all the time and you'll know the struggle with the smaller choosers if you have anything of size in them you know the struggle they will run out of water in about a day and um, so he frequently gets missed to be honest but considering he is in such a pot he's quite a, he's quite a happy dude really so we'll see how it goes with him i will repot him and i will let you know what happens to him hopefully we can get his color back because he's very nice boy i very much like him very, very much like him. Right, the last thing I want to show you, is it the last thing before I run my mouth? I think it is. The last thing I want to show you, I'm going to struggle to pick up and I think I might need a stool for it. So I'm going to do that now and I might not be able to get you up that close to him because he's quite big, he needs a paw and I'm a little bit concerned that I'm going to break him, but I will do my best. So let me just gently pick him up. He really needs, to be honest, he probably needs propagated, but I might just pull him and then propagate him from the pole. I, I haven't worked it out, to be honest, guys. Can you see this? Right, can we do it that way? Can we do it that way? Maybe we can. This here, I don't know if you can tell, this is a very pretty Monstera. This here is Monstera. Sorry, I've got a, I've got a label that is crumbling into nothing and now it's going to be stuck on my fingers. I will try and get this off my finger while I talk to you. This here is Monstera Deliciosa Brazil common form or something like that. It's also known as Monstera, I think it's Seriana, but I don't know if it actually is Seriana. I don't know if people just confuse the two. I, I, I honestly thought, sorry, I've got stuff all over my I honestly thought they were two different plants. If they're not two different plants, tell me, because I want to call this the proper name. Um, I know it to be Monstera Brazil Common Form, and honestly, it doesn't look like there is much difference, right? Sorry, I'm going to try and get this a bit closer and just sort of hold them. I can't do anything, sorry, up to the camera, guys. It just has to be this way. So... There we go. <laughs> On the surface, you might not think this is very different from Monstera Deliciosa. I, I disagree. Maybe when you see the leaves looking like this bottom one, maybe not. But by the time you get a little bit more mature, I personally can see a difference. And I'm actually going to insert for you over the top on this side an image of a mature one because I saw it on Instagram the other day and I was like, why haven't I been showing people this image the whole time to show you the difference? Because when I hold this plant in, it was, it maybe was this size, it was tiny and I had to just sort of try and convince you that it was different, but it is different. So what you should see, and I, I will have showed you the mature one, so I guess now you know what to look for. So what you should see is the, the gaps in between like basically the fenestrations, much, much larger. So it's much more spread out like this. Whereas normal MD, and I can't grab one, I'm so sorry, but the gap maybe on a normal Monstera Delicioso is probably like, sorry, I'm swearing, like this, this one's a bit more like that. So they're more spread out. Not only that, in my opinion, this could change with maturity. I can't remember, you know, exactly how that picture looks that I showed you, but I think that the, the plant's less 
heart-shaped. It's more wide. Now, I know large form, sorry, I'm looking back at the large form behind me. Large form kind of does that, but this really does that. And I think the lobes on the plant are a bit more spread out as well. That's just something that I can tell from looking. Other than that, I feel like the internodal spacing, the length of the petioles, shit like that, that's all, that's all the same as Monstera Deliciosa small form. So the only difference you're getting, obviously, is here. But I do think it's enough of a difference to care, right? And I wouldn't say this if I didn't think it. And I say this about Monstera because I said this on a video, was it last week? It's hard to find different shit, guys, that isn't just a different coloured MD. Do you know what I mean? Oh, I'm sorry. I need to pick this off. Give me one moment. This is killing me. Like, it's not... It's kind of like the label is... It's disintegrated, but it's become almost like paint you know like chipped paint off a off a wall it's sort of done that it's really bizarre it's just disintegrated over time you'd think i'd just remove the stickers but it'd be too easy guys that it'd be way too easy so yeah that is the difference and i i do think it's worth it because you don't you can't get that much of a difference with monstera especially when you're going for like deliciosa i'm assuming this is deliciosa but it's different i don't know if i need someone to tell me about the seriana thing or i need to look it up because I, I can't remember i used to know this stuff and i don't anymore because i haven't i haven't really dealt with this plant much i do have more of him he needs propagated he's been neglected he got put in with a tray of reverted aurea and he's not done so well but i will take all those cuttings and i'll propagate him i'll start growing them obviously i can't sell it at this size <laughs> obviously i can't do much with it at this size but i will start propagating them to sell and you should see the difference in the babies like the the shape of the leaves uh would that be a good one to tell can you tell from that the shape of the leaves should look different to a normal md plus i guess you just have to trust me but i think it's quite nice and i'm probably going to put one of these in my house i think i've decided i really wanted a monster in my house i didn't know whether to do like a big tie and stuff like that but honestly i'm a little bit concerned about the roots going into like my floorboards my walls don't want to be doing it so it's probably going to be one of these boys and i might use maybe this as the start of it and then add other ones in there this could be done a lot better than what it has been so maybe i might pull it take a head cutting and just start you know building it back up and just keep cutting it down don't know but it will be going on a pull very soon because literally if i let it go it's I, I don't like this. Do you know what I mean? This has been sat in a dark corner on the other side of the shop and it's sort of been leaned against one of the railings of, you know, the shelves and it's sort of semi-grown up. That's why it's kept the integrity, I suppose you could say structurally. That's why it's done that. But I just want to show you because I love it. I really love it. I know it's so simple. Don't get me wrong. If you're sat there at home going literally barely any difference, that's fine. But that mature image, guys, that looks sick. And to have something like that in my house that's going to stay compact, it's not going to burn with variegation, should be an easy keeper. I think I'm going to pick this one. I really am. I love it. Eee! Let me just put this down because I'm so nervous of this plant, honestly. Imagine if I just snapped it. How bad would that be? Ooh, put him there. And that was my planty update video for this week slash this month, I suppose. Maybe I should do the monthly. That could be a good idea. I'll think about that. Um, that was a mixture of feed updates, stuff like that, TC updates, the usual shit. But no variegates, which is very nice. And some big boys, because I don't often hold bigger boys up. So let me know what you think about that. Please let me know what you think about that, Monstera. If you think I'm literally just exaggerating how nice it is, you can tell me. I'm not going to be offended, I promise you, because I really like him. I think he's really nice. That's a large delicioso in the background there. He's just not super large because he's actually grown off his pole into midair because I keep pointing him for the camera frame. So he's left his pole. So I keep having to rotate him. So he's sort of spiraling around his pole, but he's not attached to his pole. So he's not sizing up. But that he is large. I promise you he is large from. But yeah, anyway, I'm rambling. Thank you very much for watching this video. My feed is restocked on Amazon. You can also get it through my shop. There is a slight delay in it going out because I'm actually here by myself at the moment and I'm unable to send it out, but it will be coming out very shortly. Definitely by next week, orders will start going out. Honestly, I'm a man down at the minute, so I'm struggling, guys. I really am. So they will be coming out. Merch, again, I'm wearing the Long Boys merch today. Merch link is in the description. I also have some other merch on there as well. So if you'd like to have a look, have a look. And that's it for this week's video. If you like this video, leave a like down below. It lets me know that I'm making content that you enjoy. And if you haven't already, I would love it if you could subscribe. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!